This is my wife, seven hours into her first mountain bike stage race. It's a four day race where we climb Mount Kilimanjaro, traverse across the African savanna, all while navigating volcanic terrain, before hopefully reaching Lake Natron, 250 kilometers away. They call it K2N, Kilimanjaro to Natron. And though she's never done a stage race in her life, she's about to embark on the most tiring, frustrating, and difficult adventure she's ever experienced. If she can finish it, it'll be a massive achievement. Okay, I'm a bit nervous, but yes. Ready to get wet? I'm already getting wet, so <laughs> yes. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, you're so muddy already. Okay. Day one. Yeah. Day one in the mud. Mud or not, we're heading up the most prominent volcano on the planet. This means a big climb through farms, scrubland, until we hit the first feed station at the bottom of the Shiro Plateau. Continuing up to the next feed station, the route reaches 3,800 meters, or 12,000 feet. Altitude sickness is a real possibility here. Looping back down to the first feed station is the finish. From there, it'll be an untimed descent back down to the lodge. From past year's footage, the top looks to be gorgeous. But with my rain jacket sitting on a bench in the Nairobi airport, it's going to be a tough day. But if there's anything to keep our spirits up, it's the local farmers heading to work. Hello. <laughs> hello. Morning. How do you say hello again? Mambo. Mambo, oh yeah. Mambo! <laughs> hello. Mambo. <laughs> oh, people here are so friendly. It's all a sign that it's going to be a good day. So far the grade's really chill, isn't it? It is, yes. And the bikes are rolling fast. Yeah, even though it's wet and muddy. But I think we're gonna make it. How do you know? We, uh, are, we are not even one quarter. Because I'm optimistic. <sighs> I cannot see Kirimanjalo. It's behind the clouds. I was hoping for a bit of optimism, but maybe her point of view is realistic. Terrain is starting to change here. Maybe we're getting out of the farms and into the bush, I suppose. Oh yeah. Oh, it's getting steeper. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, we just need to pedal. Pedal, pedal. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm feeling the altitude now. Oh, now I feel it. Yeah, I get like a little bit dizzy. When you stop, yeah. Oh man, my clothes are so wet. Right now we are at 15k. 15k mark? Yeah, something like that. The food station is at 22. Seven kilometers to go. Mm. <sighs> it's getting more rain. Yep. <sighs> We're not going through the clouds at all. <laughs> Bar time. Okay. okay, I gave up and walk. You feel the attitude 
when you get off the bike it's a uh, feel a bit dizzy oh well The faster rider finished the race. Yeah. <sighs> we are not even halfway. We, uh, there's a hut there though, honey. Good. Oh, maybe that's the food station? Yeah, that's probably it. Well done. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> the word we use is pole. Pardon? Pole. That's the word in Swahili for... I'm very sorry for your, for your day. And you've done, the, you've done the, the hardest of the climbing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. don't hear me saying there's no more climbing, but you've okay. done the hardest of it. We've done the hardest of it. His words are heartening. And so is the chicken soup. We're only halfway through, but the pit stop has us feeling good. Okay. Okay. Ah, my butt hurts. Oh. My legs are sore after the oh my God. little break. Okay, now we are start pedaling up again. And my body is so cold. Yeah. So it's like, so stiff. Yeah, it's gonna be up and down. Yeah, it's gonna be up and down. So mm. no more really long climb. Oops. Don't crash. <laughs> your butt is too big. My fat ass. Yeah, your fat ass. <sighs> Little downhill. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Oh my god, it's cold. Okay, uphill is miserable. And downhill also miserable. The media guys documenting the race are looking for content. Hello. Don't you miss the shuttle to Stellenbosch? <laughs> Stellenbosch is nicer, huh? This is hard. Are you having fun? Yeah. Ah, do you think I am? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, god. How are you doing? I'm sad. <laughs> it's uh, so miserable. Yes. No. I just wanna, you know, get it over yeah. as quick as possible. Hi. It's hard, isn't it? Oh, it's a little miserable, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm happy to go down now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Faridi. Faridi? Yes, cold. Yeah. Faridi, yes, Faridi, 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 no good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. See ya, see you later. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> see ya. <laughs> Oh, balidi, balidi. Oh, I can hell. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Oh, my God, Yuka. Oh, it's miserable. It's so miserable. Okay. Is that the single track? Time to hike. It's quite high. 3,700 meters. 
think we just hiked to this mini summit. Maybe this is the highest we'll go. Is this at the top? I hope so. Should we give it a try? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right, it's working. I can't ride. I can't ride. <laughs> okay. Come on. I'm too weak to ride. <sighs> oh, I can't drop the dropper. Oh, I can't drop it. Oh man, we're going up there. Oh, we're still going up? Yeah. Oh my god. Take okay, a bike. summit. Holy smokes. I hope it's a true summit. Oh, it's just, that was a hike a bike. Kind of dizzy. This is quite difficult. Fun? Yeah, this is brutal. Can we even ride down? Uh, it looks like we have to walk this bit too. Oh my god. It's hard, isn't it? I'm dead. Should we go? Yeah. I think it's downhill. Oh, I... Mostly. That's what I thought last time, but. I guess so. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Turning. Ah, uh, we're going downhill, I think. Okay. I'm glad at least it's rolling now. No more hike a bike. Oh my god. It's 
so frozen. Oh my god. 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 Oh, I cannot do say anything else. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's all I can say. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so miserable. <laughs> yeah, at least it's nice riding now. At least we can ride. But it's so hard to hold on to the bars. Oh, I know, it is really hard, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you crying or laughing? I don't know. Both. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <sighs> Maybe this is... Uh... Hardest race I ever done. <laughs> yeah, me too, probably. And we're not even racing. No, we're not racing. We just uh, try to survive. <laughs> yeah. When it gets tough, Yuka does not show her emotion. She puts up a wall. She shows no weakness. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. In our nine years together, I've never seen her cry. Okay. We'll close to the ring turn. Okay. Maybe a couple minutes. Okay. When we signed up for the race, we were excited for adventure. Cycling Africa's tallest peak had a nice ring to it. I want this to be over. <sighs> Still a bit to go, honey. And yet here we are, my stoic wife, beaten down by rain, cold, and thin air, nearly in tears. Well, we got what we came for. Oh, we we have made a, a race director decision that the race, if people want to cycle down, they can, but, but technically the race ends here now. We've got three more stages ahead of us. We'd best embrace it. All right, day two. Escaping the green slopes of Kilimanjaro, we're heading out into the arid savanna. They call it the Enduimet XCM. Enduimet for the region, and XCM for cross-country marathon. And that all makes sense. Distance-wise, it'll be the longest stage of the race, about 88 kilometers. Now, if I can just get my crap together. I'm not much of a morning person, especially with the day we just had. It's a hard 7.30 a.m. start time, and everybody knows it. But at some point, there is only one thing left to do. Oh, my butt is my sore. <laughs> All right. All right. You ready to go again? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's muddy. Oh, it's muddy. <laughs> Lots of mud in the tires today. Oh no. <laughs> Rolling down and away from Kilimanjaro. Yuka is pretty okay with that. It's a bit of a muddy start, but that should get better. And the weather looks good too. But it's not like it's all easy. The organizers were telling us something about navigation and arrows. Down here, much of the course is made up of animal trail. Often intersecting and braided, it's easy to make a wrong turn. Before you know it, you're off course. I think it's time to get the map out. Yeah, it's to the left. Yeah. The course designers use thousands of flags to mark the course. As it turns out, it's a bit of a skill to spot these while riding. All right, gotta look for the flags. Thing more left? Yeah. 
Wow, there's no flags. <laughs> you see any flags? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a bit of root finding today, huh? Basically, just in a big open plain. All we have to go are these flags and a very faint trail. The designers joked that they could count to one hand how many trees they tied flags to that didn't have thorns on them. I guess it's funny because it's true. Ow! It's first blood, and it certainly won't be the last. You're breathing! I know that everything is a thorn here. Back on double track, the search for flags is not so important anymore. See anything yet? I want to see elephant and giraffe and rhino and lions, cheaters. Ooh, don't get eaten. The organizers don't promise animal sightings, and I'd say it's a fair stance to take. Nice day for it, though. Closer? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, that's awesome! So cool. Oh, so many! So many! You're looking at us, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god. It's unreal. This is the reason why we came here. So beautiful. And then they're just staring at us. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, that one's running. <gasps> Film that one. Oh my god, they run it looks like he's running in slow motion. Yes. Oh my god, they're right there. Wow. Oh my god, he's so close. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hello! Mambo! This is crazy. Oh yes. Oh my god, you're so close. Slowly. Oh he's oh. running! He is running, slow mo running, slow mo running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, they really do run in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's zebras in the back. Oh, right. Right. The giraffe is just staring at us. Yeah, it's just uh, so chill. Yes. <laughs> well, those two are uh, just having a little fight or something. Look, they're swinging their heads at each other. It's cool, huh? Oh, he's got his head stuck on his leg. What a beautiful sight, these giraffes. And what a way to see them, too. We've just rolled up on our bikes, and there they are, pulling leaves on the side of the road. And they see us, too, a pair of brightly colored bipeds. They must wonder why it's only the oddly dressed ones that stop to have a look. Savannah, we also entered the territory of the Maasai. They traditionally graze goats and cattle among shared land. Well known for their brightly colored clothing, 
The round bomas in which they live are fenced with thorns, keeping predators out when they bring their animals in at night. Mambo! Meeting them is something I hadn't considered before coming, but our brief interactions are something that we're really enjoying. Mambo! <laughs> Mambo! But when we say Mambo, we're actually speaking Swahili. Although it's widely understood, it's not the native language of the Maasai. Jumping ahead to the next day, I figured it would be a simple fix. What was the word in for hi in their language? Their language? I don't know their language. Oh, I, I we looked it up earlier. Supai. 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 The language is called Ma. Not often written, it's a mostly oral language. Supai. Hi, Mambo. Meanwhile, you get to set a Swahili greeting. Habali. <laughs> Supai. Hi, Habali. Well done, well done. Thank you. Supai. <laughs> Supai. Maybe Mambo is working better. Oh, Habali. Habali. Yeah. Habali. It would seem I've gotten it a bit wrong. Supai is used when greeting men, which would explain the mixed results. Takwenya is the proper way to greet a lady. Hi, Mambo. Hello. Fresh off our roadside giraffe experience, we're keen for more. Hmm, that's fresher poop. Definitely a lot of animals coming here. You can see how beaten up the bank is. But none right now. Where's the elephants? I want to see elephants! We haven't seen much, but it's the frequent evidence that has us optimistic. Oh, Yuka, there's elephant footprints here. All right! Just uh, around footprints. Yeah, it looks quite fresh, no? Putting a food station at the top of a hill might be considered cruel by some, but in a flat area, a view is always appreciated. Uh, Must have stopped and filmed the elephants. We didn't see the elephants. Here, right there. 12 o'clock, that open spot. Yeah. The trail's going back up towards that. Yeah. That's where he was. He's going to the water hole. Where you, right can, there. Where you can turn around. There's a family over here. Oh, oh my God. And just as they appeared, they disappeared. Elephants, 
sauce. Oh, giraffes. They're right there. They were all running. There they go. So many of them. Wow. <sighs> They're so cool. You just see their heads. Wow. Where is Rhino? I want to see Rhino now. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're about 60 years too late. In the 1960s, the black rhino was as numerous as the giraffes are today at a population of around 100,000. By the time the 90s came around, poaching reduced them to a low of 2,300. Today, through conservation, their numbers have recovered to about 6,100, still critically endangered. With numbers this low, genetic diversity is a problem. As it turns out, there is more genetic diversity to be found. It's just not in Africa. Around the world, there are 184 black rhino and 61 zoos, often with genetic lines predating poaching. Grumetti Fund, the title sponsor of the race, works to relocate and reintroduce these rhinos into the wild, thereby adding unique genetics back into the population. It's a wonderful cause, and maybe one day the savannah will be filled with rhinos once again. Although the rhinos aren't here anymore, we're learning quickly that there's still plenty going on. And though the human presence isn't always obvious, the Maasai are out here, and the kids just seem to appear. Mambo! <laughs> Mambo! Mambo! Eric? Eric? Yuka? Yes. Yuka? Yuka. Eric. Eric. Hi. You? Ken? Ken? Luken. Luken. Nice to meet you. Do you want to let them try your bike? Yeah, sure. You want to try? <laughs> Luken, you want to try? Luken. You sit and pedal. Oh my mm. Like this. So pedal. <laughs> Oops. And we can turn. Turn. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn. Do, do, do. Yes. <laughs> Good. Good. Do you want to see? It's you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you want to see? <laughs> you want to try? Yeah. yeah, he wants to try. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Turn, turn. Turn? Yeah, turn. Yeah. Okay. You have to let go. This one? Yeah. Okay, let go. This one? Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Go. Hold here. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Done? 
High five. High five. <laughs> uh, see? <laughs> Good job. High five. High five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eric, Yuka. Eric? No. Eric. Eric? Eric? Yuka? Zewala. Zebul. 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 Ah, Zebul. 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 Chakula? Chakula. I don't know. Oh. You think food? Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Sana. bye. <laughs> I guess they wanted something, huh? Yeah. Seventy kilometers and seven and a half hours in, this is the toughest day she's had on a bike, if you don't count stage one. And now it's about to get a little harder. See ya. Twelve more kilometers, and uh, maybe. Uh... Oh, I hear someone. Oh, it's a Maasai. I'm so hungry. Hiya. Hey, I'm dead. You're dead? I'm dead. <laughs> You're dead? Let us take your bike. <laughs> what can we get? What can we get for you? As long as we finish the stage, we win our category by default. Which are you and Eric here? Yes. Oh, excellent. With each stage, the organizers give up prizes, all of which are authentic Maasai items. The Maasai drinking gourd we won on the first day was quite amusing to the Tanzanian customs officers. But the prize we received after the second stage was my favorite. In this part of the world, it's common for people to wear sandals made from old motorcycle tires. And the prize for stage two was exactly that, a custom set of indukutuk, as the Maasai called them. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> what? Hey, then? Ah. Oh, yeah. Snap okay. Uh, uh, and then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Kitumbini Kali, stage three, is 66 kilometers across the Kitumbini region. As for the Kali bit, 
Well, that translates to hot or indirectly sharp. They've got a habit of naming these things accurately. And with a warning about the final kilometers of the stage, well, we'd better pace ourselves. As we prepared for the day, stage one emerged from the clouds for the first time. It was a good reminder. Today's stage starts with a climb. Another day, another race. Oh, my butt is too sore to sit. Oh my god. Oh, it's okay. Oh, shit. I stuck. Have a good one. Good, man. We have some beautiful downhill soon. Yeah. Oh, look at my arm. Thorns. Hello. Nice going. Yeah, I gotta wait for the wife now. <laughs> Hi. 
How are you? Ha, ah, you really took off, huh? I, uh, they're going so slow. Yeah, you're going so fast. Oh, I just wanted to have a little bit of a race. At some point, I was leading the team too. Oh, were you? I was just stuck behind everyone. Oh, okay. They're like, okay, I gotta go, and then just to go and... You went? Oh, that's funny. <sighs> Maybe they started to question themselves when you could pass them. <laughs> <laughs> they must. They should. <laughs> yeah. Look at my arm. Oh. Yeah. So bad. I know. It's. I just caught a thorn or something. I'm proud of her for giving it a go. Being the only woman in the race didn't matter. She just took it and ran. Plus, it made a lot of sense. You've got to keep the speed up to stay on top of that sand. Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> Mambo. <Yeah>. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Mambo. Mambo. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> Feed station amongst the goats. Woohoo! How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Woohoo! You <Yuko! laughs> <sighs> Congrats. Ah, nice. <laughs> If you haven't noticed yet, the locals seem to enjoy hanging out at the food stations. I probably would too if it meant seeing some weirdos torture themselves on silly machines. Hmm. I I don't know. Oh, it is. Ah, uh, um, sharp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bloody arm aside, we've still got three quarters of the way to go. <laughs> Have a good ride. Okay, see ya. Hi, donkeys. Hey, donkey. Hello, cow. Sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Mambo, mm, we got a bit of a traffic jam here. <laughs> Mambo. They totally erased the tracks. Look, the tracks are over there. Yeah. And there's no tracks here anymore. <laughs> Cool. I went straight into the ride on the way down. Me too. <laughs> oh. I found a tortoise. It's moving faster than I thought. Mambo. Mambo. Yes, the first sizable descent of the race. We're at the bottom of the valley now and also at the halfway point. From here, we can only go up. Then it's the gnarly bit at the end, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Mama-san? Mama-san? Yes? Mama-san? 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 Mama-san?
sorry. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. How, how are you guys doing? Sorry, yeah, I know I'm, I'm sweat. <laughs> yeah. High five. High five. <laughs> High five. Bye-bye. Crazy, huh? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Holy yes. crap. That was super intense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're still coming. Keep oh. up, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What a welcome. We happen to exist at the same place at the same time, and that's reason enough to celebrate. What a wonderful way to live. I think I'll take that little tidbit home with me. Now for that gnarly bit they were talking about. I don't think this is rideable. Oh, this is a. Uh... Oh, you're uh, It's getting uh, pretty rough here. start to go for a while riding, I guess. <sighs> yes. Don't start go for a while. 
Is it done? Oh, sounds awesome! Yes! Nice! Good job, Yuka. <laughs> Looks as if fresh Oh, is poured by the chef. Yeah, that's thank nice. Thank you. That's good, okay, thank you. <laughs> a glass of freshly squeezed mango juice. Not a bad way to finish 66K. And the roast goat, and the pasta, and the shower, it all went over pretty well. And this, this is the man behind it all. A triathlete by hobby, Brett has done more than a few laps of the region. Over the 15 years he's lived here, he's developed a pretty good lay of the land. And it's that knowledge he's converted into this adventure. The thing is, the race is just a small part of the puzzle. Every participant here, just by showing up, is contributing to a good cause. 50% of all profits from the race go to wildlife conservation and community development. When he's not running races, he's teaching locals how to farm efficiently and sustainably, while also developing running and cycling clubs across Tanzania. So while Brett's out there doing the hard work, we get to feel like we're helping out in some small way. Bomba Traverse is the final stage and also the shortest, about 47 kilometers. But it promises a lot. The Chai at Mama Jay's, the first food station, is apparently exceptional. It'll also be the most single track we've done all race, and the most difficult. They say the final descent at the volcanic foothills of Galai is as unusual as it is dangerous. I'm not thinking too much on that though. It's another long day in the saddle, and we just need to get ourselves across the finish line. We'll take it easy today. Ooh. Dusty. Oh, straight in. <laughs> oh, it's uh, really rocky. If you want to get by me, let me know. Okay, I'll let you know. We're chilling today. Okay, this is maybe a bit slow. <laughs> I'm gonna come on your left. Now Eric decided to go first. Come by on the right. Go, go, go. On your left. On your right. On your right? Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bleeding again? Okay. Wonder how Yuka's doing back there. Pretty sure she's faster than most of those guys on the descent. And then, 
Did I miss the flag? Oh, there. It's pretty much open bush line. There's no trail here. Oh my God, big hole there. It's a bit of a rain right this. Probably this way. Uh-oh. Don't see a flag. That's a bit right. Uh, where's the next flag? Oh, there. A little bit hairy looking for flags while riding uh, this stuff. Oh, this way. Oh my god. Front washed. Oh, zebra. Cool. Oh my god, it's amazing. adventure. Oh, turn right. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god, it's going up. Uh, and then, oh my god. Oh, so and then, oh, this way. Uh, uh, you go ahead. Yeah, the problem right here is there's no trees. So, you can't tie the flags up high. It's uphill. Yeah, I see a flag in that bush, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, it's turn left in the Masai village. I don't see anybody back there yet. Absolutely love this. It's such an adventure. Oh no, it's going up. Stupid. Thanks to Brett and the whole crew, because this has got to be one of the coolest stage races in the world. Gravel trap. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay. This is slow as gonna put a lot of power down to, to get through this. Oh yeah. Horrible. Oh my god. It's almost better to run. I think I just saw elephant. Oh, there's elephant prints here. Oh, look at that. What's that sound? <laughs> I'm still in the lead. <laughs> I think they're going to catch me soon. They must. Those guys can motor when it's flat. Yes, they can pedal. I can't pedal. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, so dusty. Mambo. I hope you're not going down. Then I have to pass them all again. Oh, 
All right, back to the rocks. Oh, there's the wash. Oh my God. Thank you. Can I? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Good. What's going on here? Okay. Made it out of the wash. Okay. They got lost. So I took a lead. <laughs> I still have so much water. <laughs> Go ahead. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have some chai, sure. Where's your partner? Oh, way ahead. Was that any fun? That yeah, was super fun. <sighs> okay. I can walk. We have mandazis here, which are like a donut, like a ski donut or a chapati. Ah, oh, I need a chai. Yeah, also chai tea. It's so good. It's the best. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Where's the chai restaurant? I want to eat. Chupapu too. I don't know what the name is. Oh yeah. Oh, it's cool in here. Yeah. Ah, hot. So hot. So hot. Woo! Woo! You had Mama J's. Oh, this is the, my partner who left me behind. <laughs> I pushed you forward a bit. Thank you. <laughs> ah, ah, go. Nice. E. Nice. <sighs> ah, I'm ready for chai. <sighs> <laughs> this is the most hilarious shot I've ever seen. <laughs> Uninhibited, Yuka attracts attention wherever she goes. She also has a habit of inspiring others to action. Watch out for the rocks! Nice! Can you stop? Mochai! <laughs> Yaha! As it turns out, <laughs> all this makes her fairly popular. Welcome to Glen Bomba. Oh, I miss you so much. <laughs> Me too. That was so good. I... <laughs> Can you say your name again? Ashlina. 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 Okay. A.K. Mama Firdaus. <laughs> Mama Phil. Mama Firdaus. Mama Firdaus. Mama Firdaus. Mama Firdaus. Mama Firdaus. Yeah. Ashirina, aka Mama Fildars. Ashirina, aka Mama Fildars. Okay. Wow. Wow. wow! That was awesome, yeah? Wow! Okay. Asante Sana. Asante, bye bye. Asante Sana. Go ahead, bye bye. Bye bye. High five. High five, high five, high five. <laughs> high five. <laughs> bye bye. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>
Bye bye. <laughs> Ooh, c'est steep. Yokoshoto! Everybody loves Yuka. That's not true. It's true. That's not true. Everybody wants to be friends with Yuka. I'm lucky I'm Yuka's best friend. Lucky man! Lucky man. You left me behind. I know, but sometimes I want to have fun, no? Oh, yeah, sure. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. That's good. It was really good, yeah. Yeah, maybe this stage is the best stage, no? Yeah, going up it's not fun though. Yeah, well, this is the way. This, this is, is the way! The way. <laughs> I know that the village, village would be with a mountain in the back. <sighs> yeah, we're so lucky to be here. Mambo! Mambo! You wanna see? This is here. Yeah. You wanna see? Yeah. Hmm? This is you. This is you. Can you see? See, he's coming closer. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay.
Let us see. It's okay. This is you. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> See? Yeah. All right. I'm going to take it, okay? See? Cool, right? And then I can close it up. I have to, we have to go now though. That's going that way. Yeah. Should we give them some snack? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh yeah, you have one oh, for everybody? Yeah. Okay, cool. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> See you. See you. I put the extra birds bars in oh, my to give to the kids. backpack. Yeah. Yeah, but I cannot give them everybody, so Yeah. The thing with volcanoes is that they're young. Gali, the one we find ourselves on, is less than a million years old. In geologic terms, it's just popped out of the womb. So that's what makes it so unique. It's a fresh lava field descent. And Brett would prefer if we didn't wreck ourselves on it. Getting rocky again. Oh, big core. Yeah. Oi. Lava flow. <laughs> Sweet. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the OTB paradise, isn't it? Man, this is wild stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. This is gnarly. I should probably walk this. Yeah. It looks rideable, but yeah. There's no helicopter coming here. Whew. Oh, there's the lake. Oh my god! This is cool to see these uh, this uh, lava bubbling. It's kind of arbitrary, isn't it? A race with a beginning and an end split up over four days. Hi. Bumble. Bumble. A faint line through the landscape 
marked only with cloth and chalk. As this thread comes to its prescribed end, it's with mixed emotions. The distances were long, the terrain challenging. Yet I can't shake the feeling. I don't want it to end. Thank you. We made it. We made it. Sweet. Oh yeah, we made it. We made it to our camp. Memories created along this path will forever be etched into our hearts. These past four days have been among the most meaningful of our lives. Uh, you're so mighty already. Uh, it looks like we have to walk this bit too. Oh Hi guys, uh, thank you for watching the whole video all the way to the end. I know it was a long one, but uh, it was such an amazing experience for us that we just didn't want to cut out that much. And we needed to show the whole experience of the race. And I think we did that. Um, so yeah, uh, just a fantastic life experience. And I would recommend it to anybody that even remotely likes to travel and anybody that, you know, can handle a decent sized day on the bike. Um, we did have a little feedback for Brett at the end. Uh, the race could be seven stages, eight stages, you know. We just wanted it to keep on going. And um, so for, for 2024, he's adding a prologue at the bottom of uh, Kilimanjaro. And we actually got to ride that a bit uh, before the race. We just did a little shakedown with the bikes and there's actually quite a bit of single track at the bottom of Kilimanjaro, like around those farms and stuff. And so that'll be, that'll be great, a great addition for the race. Brett's giving me a promo code for the 2024 race. Uh, I'm not making any commission off of it. I'm just trying to help him, you know, with his work in Tanzania. He's doing a lot of good things over there. And I also feel like the race is really unknown. Uh, I hadn't heard of it until he emailed me. Yeah, it's, it turned out to be... Uh, one of the best stage races in the world, in my opinion. Like, I've done BC Bike Race, Trans BC, and those are pretty famous, you know, stage races. This, for me, was just a, a whole level above those races, just because it's in such an, an amazing place, and all the wildlife and all the people and that we met along the way were just unbelievable. And then I should also mention he's got a trail running race that goes up Kilimanjaro, and then in January, he runs a festival with both mountain biking and trail running. Uh, and then if none of that interests you, um, 
His website for all his all his work he does in Tanzania is rednotdevelopment.org if you want to make a donation. And the last thing I should mention is that this video is a collaboration between Yuka and I, and we're going to be posting deleted scenes on our respective Patreons. Uh, so if you want to see all that race footage uncut, or there's actually a lot of other stuff that happened during the race that just didn't make it into the edit. Um, so yeah, it's actually a lot of interesting stuff. So, But anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.